Hello and welcome back to module 9 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. This is unit 7 of website settings. Plugins. OJS 3.3 supports a huge number of plugins to help customize your journal's features. In this unit, I'll demonstrate how to activate desired plugins. To access your website plugin gallery, let's go to our dashboard through the link at the top right corner of our homepage. From the left-hand navigation menu, we can go to the website settings. The third tab in this section is plugins. The plugins tab is split into installed plugins and the plugin gallery. Install the plugins are plugins that are embedded in our default OJS installation and will also contain any further plugins that you decide to add. Let's begin exploring this page. The installed plugins are sorted into categories to help it make it easier to find what you're looking for. The table displays the name of the plugin, a brief description, and a checkbox indicating whether or not the plugin is currently enabled. Some plugins are essential to the running of OJS, and you'll see that those ones are enabled and grayed out, so you can't disable them accidentally. Other plugins you can enable and disable as best suits your journal. The blog plugin section, for example, mirrors what we set as our website sidebar back in Unit 1 of this module. This is the backend way to enabling or disabling those same content blocks. Further down the page, we'll find other common plugins that have been enabled for your site, but you can disable if you choose to. Some useful plugins you may want to consider enabling include the ORCID Profile plugin and the Google Analytics plugin, both of which are located in the generic plugin section of the page. We highly recommend taking your time going through this page and taking advantage of the plugin options to customize and enhance your journal. If you discover there's a feature you need that isn't already installed on your OJS instance, head over to the second tab of this page, the plugin gallery. In this gallery, you can find additional plugins that could be installed on your journal. Again, I encourage you to explore them. If there are any plugins that look promising, click through the hyperlink and follow the instructions to install them. This concludes our overview of the website plugins and module 9 of our course. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next module.